For those of us who learned uh, the Lord's Prayer in more liturgical settings, as I did in the Methodist Church, we learned it in the King James Version. The preposition that's used there is in. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Most modern translations, some, for some reason, change the preposition to on. It's not something I want to, I'm not running for Congress on it. So uh, it's a mistake to build a theological structure on a preposition. But both ways are meaningful. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth has a sort of a planetary feel. Mm -hmm. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. Thy kingdom be established on the earth, in governments, in nations. God knows we need to pray that. Now, mm -hmm. thy kingdom come, thy will be done. If it would just be done in Washington, I'd be grateful. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. But what if you pray it the other way? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth. It dawned on me, what does that mean? That can't be planetary because it's, the Lord's prayer is not the journey to the center of the earth. In earth, what does that mean? What are we made of? Mm -hmm. Dust thou art and to dust thou returnest. We're made of earth. Isn't that what the Bible says? Know ye not we have this, this kingdom in, or this glory in earthen vessels. The kingdom of God is within you. So in that sense, I think we're praying, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in this earth, in my world, in me. That's the transforming nature of the prayer. That thy kingdom come, there is no way to separate the kingship. Kingdom simply means kingship. Mm -hmm. There's no way to separate the kingship of God and the will of God. I cannot be under his kingship and not do his will. I can't find his will and not be under his kingship. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in the earth which is me. That's the, that's the ultimate transforming prayer of surrender.